I was able to make $10,000 in one month, bring my savings account to 20 G's. I received so many financial blessings from it and the blessings still keep coming. <sighs> I'm starting over in my 30s. 30 is not old, by the way, okay? 40 is your prime, so I still have time to hit my prime. If you're in your 30s, we still got time. It's okay, especially the way that the economy is. It's hard out here for a millennial, I'm telling you. Hello everyone, my name is Ruby Patchouli, and on this channel, I talk about wellness, curls, and self-development, self-love. Oh, so I'm starting over in my 30s, and I'm excited. I'm so excited, I'm so ready, I'm not nervous, it's been a long time coming i've been trying to figure out what my next move is gonna be i've been doing youtube for about two years is it two years yeah i'm still gonna continue doing youtube but youtube is not paying me right now i'm trying to figure out what exactly is gonna make me feel joy and fulfilled and sometimes it takes a long time to figure that out it's a lot of trial and error and you have to have a lot of faith. You have to be able to take risks. I moved to LA three years ago from New York City and when I was in New York City, my career, well, I can't even say my career, my jobs. I've had jobs, but I wouldn't call my jobs my career. They're just a means to an end. In New York, I did a lot of telecommunications. I worked for a cable and internet provider, Sprint, AT&T, Verizon. That's what I was doing because it was helping me pay for college. It wasn't very flexible. I was working for full-time and going to school full-time I had moved to Florida and back and forth a few times and I tried a lot of different things I worked at a car dealership I did sales so I was making pretty good money in my 20s and then when I graduated college I decided to go with the secure safe option and not allow myself the time to dedicate to my passions I was only able to do that for six months or a year or nine months great job made good money but I was burnt out it wasn't what I wanted to do and I had to move on from it throughout this time I did have my bartending license and this time I decided I'm gonna bartend a cocktail waitress did that for a few years and the reason why i did that was because it offered me the flexibility to be able to pursue my other passions but i didn't take advantage of it i didn't do it i got sucked into the nightlife into that fast money and then i burnt out and i really wanted to move out of new york city so i decided to move to florida but i still wasn't happy and i really didn't understand what was going on this was before i was really into self-development and self-care self-love i felt like i was going crazy i was disassociating i was going through a quarter life crisis a year before i moved to florida my friends were like i think that california is a place for you and i was like ah i already made my mind i'm gonna go to florida while living in florida i decided let me take a trip out to la to see how i like it and when we landed we went straight to venice beach as soon as i was at the beach i knew that this was the place if you keep getting signs that are pointing to a specific location geographically take a trip out there and I guarantee you your soul your intuition is gonna tell you if this is the place for you or not right after Florida I ended up moving back to New York signed a lease and I quickly regretted my decision I didn't move to California because I let people's thoughts and opinions get into my head I was so unhappy in New York and and I took a trip to the Grand Canyon. I came back with a new skill. Somehow out of nowhere, I became a painter. And that was my thing. Paint, painting was my therapy. And that is what helped me get back on track because I'm a creative person. So when I'm not doing anything creatively, like I, I don't feel good. My plan was still to move to California. So I moved here in 2020 and I moved here two weeks before quarantine. So I moved here in quarantine, boom, and I'm like, oh. I moved to California with no family. I knew two people. I moved here with my dog. 2020 was such a good year. First move some, somewhere, you're very excited. You're overjoyed. Every single morning you wake up, you're like, oh, okay, what am I going to do today? Come 2021, 2022, it was bad. It was bad. I was dealing with some health issues. My hormones were just so out of whack. And every time I would get better, my period would come. I would get sick again. And then when I started getting better, I fainted because of my freaking period cramps. Fainting and falling dead weight caused a lot of issues for me. So I was pretty much bedridden. I finally started to feel better and I need to make money. I need to go back to work. My savings account is depleting. Like I gotta start grinding. I couldn't get a job doing the things I wanted to do. Like I tried PAing, which is production assistant. So I worked on some music videos, but 
that wasn't very consistent i was supposed to get a job through this editing company it didn't work out and i didn't understand it and it was just making me more depressed i finally had to humble myself and i went back to working at a restaurant i typically don't work at restaurants i work more in lounges clubs primarily bartending and cocktail waitressing but ever since my shift like i don't drink so i was like okay I, let's do a restaurant let me compromise so even though i didn't want to i'm in my 30s and here i am going back to work in a in a restaurant as a server i obviously took a wrong turn in life because i i don't like where i'm at right now but i did it and it was really hard in the beginning i was working three jobs when i first started working at the restaurant at a hotel restaurant and i was also teaching virtual mixology classes and then i started dropping each one slowly and i was working every single day but let me tell you i had put that i wanted to make ten thousand dollars in a month i made ten thousand dollars in a month i was able to bring my savings account to twenty thousand dollars but management didn't treat women very well there there were a lot of shady things going on there the money was good everything else sucked that job was just fucking off i could no longer stay there but everything happens so perfectly for you god has such a great plan you just have to have faith. I had to humble my ass to go back to working a job that I felt like I was too good for. But by going back to working in the service industry, I was able to make $10,000 in one month to bring my savings account back up to 20 G's. I received so many financial blessings from it and the blessings still keep coming months after leaving that place. I'm beyond amazed at the way that my life is uh, trending now. Because of my back injury, I was able to go on short-term disability. I never knew about short-term disability. This is for people who have gotten hurt. You don't have to have gotten hurt at the job. If you got hurt and you can no longer perform your work duties, you can go on short-term disability. But your doctor has to approve it. My short-term disability recently ended in December, but I'm transitioning careers. I am starting my teacher training in two weeks. So I ended up checking to see if I could apply for unemployment and I got approved. I did not think I was going to get approved for unemployment. I'm just so blessed. I'm so happy. The blessings just keep coming and coming. But anyways, I'm saying this because 30 is not old. You have the rest of your life ahead of yourself. If you are unhappy at your job, create your exit strategy and leave. So this is my cue to end this video. <sighs> thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you for supporting me.